Morris. He's 66. He's been following the model that Dan created and his advice for about 10 years now. He's 95% in stock and minimal bonds. The usual wisdom says I should have more bonds. What is your view of the 60% stock, 40% bonds rule? Familiar question, Shannon. I think we've got one, uh, uh, this one uh, before. Yeah, so the 60-40 um, rule or kind of guideline is the... Um, is what the industry has followed for a long time, having a mix between fixed income and stocks, because historically stocks and bonds have been negatively correlated, which means that when um, one of those types of, uh, of classes is positive or doing well, the other is not, and vice versa. When stocks are um, not doing well, bonds usually perform well. Well, 2022 was uh, kind of an anomaly, and neither did well. You know, stocks were down, um, I'd say, 20 to over 30 percent, and at the same time, the bond market was negative too. Most uh, bond funds or uh, bond positions were down between uh, 15 to 25 percent. So, you know, it that that strategy hasn't really worked at all for quite a while because prior to even 2022 interest rates, we were in a, a very low interest rate cycle for decades <laughs> and you couldn't really get the kind of return that you needed in the fixed income part of it. So most investors, even retirees were really forced into the equity markets to look for um, companies that were paying dividends because, uh, on a lot of uh, dividend-producing stocks, you could really get a better yield than you could in the fixed income market. So our strategy has deviated from the traditional 60-40 for quite a while. Um, I think it could be possible that we're moving back into an environment where that could work again. Um, we're seeing you know, short-term fixed income right now in the 5% range, which I think is good. I think the uh, yield curve is inverted. Well, I know the yield curve is inverted right now with short-term rates being higher than long-term rates. And once we see that yield curve, or if we see that yield curve um, right itself, then I think we can gravitate more towards a 60-40 strategy, but I don't know that we'll, we'll get all the way there.